Thanks for tuning in my channel, guys. I am the Creamy. I have a couple things I want to go over with you guys today. Uh, number one is the Xbox Live. I didn't know how it was going to work when I bought the Xbox One, and I finally know, so I figured I would uh, share it with you guys because I was confused on if it was going to work on the uh, Xbox 360 once I switched over. Um, so that's one thing I want to talk about today. Another thing is dashboarding and then um, the HDMI in. Those are the three things I want to talk about on this video. But real quick, you guys are watching me play on whatever this map's called. I forget what it's called, but I go like 31 and 4. Um, I'm not going to be uploading this this map as much anymore just because I feel like it's turning into Nuketown where everyone's uploading video after video and that's all I really see on YouTube is this map. And so um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this map's called. I do apologize. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember off the top of my head what it's what the name of it is. But um, Xbox Live. <clears throat> One of my friends told me that it was not going to be cross compatible. Meaning I could switch all my information over to the Xbox One, but after doing so, I would not be able to sign on to the Xbox 360 anymore with that account. I'd have to make a new one. Um, and I was bummed. I was like, a lot of my friends aren't going to be getting the Xbox One for a while, so now I have to make an, buy another account and re-rank up that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out that it is cross-compatible for those of you guys that are wondering, uh, like I was. It's cross-compatible, meaning you can sign in on your Xbox One rank it up in Call of Duty Ghost and then pick up where you left off on the uh, Xbox 360 and rank it up in that and then uh, switch back over. It's It works just fine. So it's cool because if you have a friend that you want to play with on the 360, you can rank your, your character up on that game and then you know continue it on the Xbox One later when you're playing by yourself or with your other friends. So I thought I would share that if you guys were kind of wondering how that works. Another thing that I noticed was that there's no dashboarding in the, on the Xbox One. Uh, people still, I guess, technically can, but it's not going to be the same as it was on the Xbox 360, meaning you can't uh, hit the home button on your controller and then hit dashboard and then the, it's like the game never happened. That's kind of what a lot of people would do on Xbox 360, for those of you guys that don't know, to manage their KDs or to ruin a game for a bunch of people by going like... I don't know, 1 in 30, and then they would just hit the dashboard button, ruin the game for everyone, and then um, not pay the consequences because they wouldn't hit their stats at all. So that's been a huge problem on the Xbox 360, in my opinion, for Call of Duty, just because um, everyone would do it, and you'd end up having people, you'd have those host migrations, and you'd have a lot of issues just because of people doing that. And they they can't do that on the Xbox One. I mean, I guess they could technically turn off the Xbox or unplug the internet, but it's a lot more inconvenient. It's not just a couple clicks of a button. So um, from what I've noticed, there's a lot less of that happening. And on Call of Duty Ghost, that's nice because uh, this is kind of like league play from Black Ops 1. That's how Ghost kind of works. Like It doesn't refill the slot when someone leaves, so you end up playing the game with like two people for a lot or three people I mean it just depends how many people dashboard uh, but I don't notice that as much on the Xbox one so I thought I would share that information with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool uh, another thing the HDMI in has like a two and a half to three second delay from what you've seen on screen from what's actually happening so I think it was designed mainly just for watching uh, cable TV or plugging your cable box into it I don't think it was made for a console, so if you're going into it thinking you can use it for like your Xbox 360 or your PS3 as an input for your TV, uh, it's not going to work um, that well. Unless you're, I don't know what game you could play where that wouldn't matter, <laughs> the delay wouldn't matter, but uh, it definitely if you're playing p uh, first person shooter games, it, you can't use it for that. Uh, so if you only have like one input on your TV, that could be an issue, so I thought I would uh, let you guys know because that was uh, something that I just found out. So, anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And as always, you guys, especially in this game, be sure to check your corners.